Hello everyone, it's Ragdad, and I still don't agree with uh, the fact that I have to do that stupid work investigating myself instead of just being given the case and the document and studying that and going to the court with that. But we wouldn't have a game if it was of that, so we'd better go out up to work and find some clues and things like that and many exciting rants by people, whatever. What should we do? Police have pretty much made up their minds that Mr. Edward did it. Mr. Edward won't tell us anything. I guess we could go, go, blah, 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 blah. go back into the lake. Penny for your thoughts. Thoughts, thoughts. What a jerk. And why won't I just reveal what I know about Edward? Is it so hard for me? I, I mean, this could help, knowing what happened in this mind and what made him so that he doesn't want to see me anymore and I can't talk to him properly and things like that. Anyways, let's get back to the detention center because that's where I want to go. And that's totally not where I was supposed to go. <laughs> so, uh, let's get back in the lake. So, there's nothing to examine here. We've, we've done it all. So I guess guys, let's get back at the beach with Mr. Butts, 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 Butts. Okay, whatever. Uh, move. Let's move at the boat rental shop. I do there's someone here. Let's examine here. There's something. It must be something. How about a cabana? It's a shop. It doesn't look like anyone's around. It's closed because it's Christmas, of course. Okay, so uh, there's some boats, blah, 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 blah. I wonder if one boat... She don't want to go. She doesn't want to go for a boat ride. Why this sudden and sudden sense and change? More forest south that way. Okay, there's no helpful clues in that sentence forest. I want to use the word sentient for it's my word of the day. Sentient, sentient, sentient. It's also a good tongue twister if you want. Okay, so... 2 minutes, 20, uh, 30 and we haven't found out what we have to do yet. That's pretty great. And uh, move... I guess I could start to... Um, actually cut out the parts where I'm fooling around like there until I found some conversations and clues, but... It would be a hard editing work and I don't want to do that. So you'll have to experience the whole search and destroy thing. So let's get back to the woods. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Uh, can I examine again the, the camera? Something like that. It's an expensive looking camera faces the lake. Lake, 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 yeah, lake. Lake, okay, whatever, I, I know. Uh, move. What if the wind blows up and uh, or if there's rain, they, they're, they're pretty much screwed up, huh? The camera's gonna just break and the computer as well and the microphone as well. So all their equipment will be just doomed. You didn't think about that, huh? Okay, so uh, I guess there's nothing more to do here. How about we go back to the entrance and uh, to the, the criminal affairs department? Okay, that's where I had to go. Let's go. Criminal affairs. He's in a questioning room. An important tur a witness turned up. A little hard, yeah. This is bad. Uh, I don't want to examine this place. I really don't want. So let's move. I don't. I really don't know where I have to go now. Okay, since there's absolutely nothing more to do here, I'm guessing that I have to um, to go away. <laughs> let's get back at my uh, uh, detention center, of course. Okay, no, 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 uh, Edward inside. So let's get back to the office. I uh, had all the talks, huh? Oh, Robert Hammond. Okay, let's go. Who's the Hammond guy, in a way? 
It was the defense attorney in that case. That case. The DL6 and said, Ha! I knew it. That sounds familiar because it's Maya. I'm sure someone mentioned it, mentioned it during the trial for Maya's murder. It was the incident where the police used. Uh, where, where so. I lost. They used some spirit medium. It was Misty Faye. Yup. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, my dear. Misty Faye contacted the spirit of the victim. The case was a loss. No conviction was made. How about the same incident? I want to know more about that one. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. Never caught the criminal, right? Misty Faye used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man, but Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. Okay, so no, please don't don't mention it. <clears throat> it has everything to do with Mr. Edward, my dear. The victim. Wow! The victim was his father, Gregory Edward. Okay, so this seems like a turning point of events now. His father. Okay, so now we have to get back. I like his forename. I really like his forename. Yeah, Marvin is a great name, first name. So, let's get back to the detention center where I have to talk to Mr. Edgeward about something that is being unfolded. So, I was hoping it got in my message the first time. Edward, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. He's had, he hasn't found anyone yet. Let's present him right away that photo. It's only been a matter of hours since the last visit. Yet, You've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? Of course I do. About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from the L6. Well, I'm into it. I'm into it to the neck. I like my neck. Not my neck hurts because it's surrounded by shit. Shit everywhere. I I'm stuck in shit. You still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I'll answer the best of my abilities. So I got him on my side now, huh? Let's talk, the DL6 incident, go. I know that, I know that, your father died right before- Oh, really? He was shot and killed and saw you all. My memories from that of time are foggy, I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, the suspect was arrested, the man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. My spirit made only used to talk to my late father, said the same thing. It was an attorney by the, man, the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gore's Lake murder. Correct. Okay, so did it? Did he do it? That's the question now. That spirit medium, that was my mom.
The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. About to end, eh? On December 28th. That's three days from now. It'll be quite a coincidence if the trial lasts three days. The statute of limitations in, on the case runs out in three days. So did he plan that? The case never happened. Three days from now, the L6 will be closed forever. So the suspect is you. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off in innocent. Innocent. He disappeared from public view. Public, public, whatever. He'd be about 50 years old now. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be hard to live a normal life of, uh, after being a murder suspect in such a big case. What about his father? He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So he was sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. So he won't talk about it. How about we present him something else? I don't know, uh, maybe the... The photo. Who would have thought there would be a photo? Did you shoot him? I don't think you're a kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him, no? He didn't. Okay, that's good to know. Of course I will. I will defend you. Uh, I got a payback, but I don't know for what. Edgeworth doesn't seem to remember as well. Earthquake. It's a big earthquake. It's coming down. Perhaps it was uh, Gordy? Edgeworth. He's on the ball. <laughs> He's on the floor in the ball, shivering. Oh, that's really fun. Yeah, he doesn't do well with earthquakes. I, I, I won't laugh at him, though. No, you don't run when there's an earthquake actually curling up in a ball is more appropriate than running also the, the word ball a ball okay so let's go okay so we have having we are having a lot 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 of progress there so let's get back to the criminal affairs department there's a lot of progress being done here and we're learning a, a lot of connections what's going on here no I don't No, no, I'm not trying to do anything. Calm down. Calm down. Edgeward, uh, calm down. Edgeward is in. No, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm the only one, blah, blah, blah. But he already asked me. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case, but we're learning a lot from it, and we can use any detail. Yep, there's got to be something I've overlooked. I've over what about this, her, her testimony? Okay, she says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire a pistol. Yeah, she had a photograph. Yeah, I saw it too. 
but you can't tell because it was foggy and it was Apparently there was a cancellation. Okay, whatever. Let's present Edward request. Whoops. Uh, okay. Start new ones for me. Okay, so next time I guess we're up to the trial. Mr. Edward and Edquakes, that's not an important detail, I guess. Oh, he was never that scared of them when he was at school. Okay, so maybe it's an important detail. But anyhow, I was only the same class as him for 4th grade. I transferred to another co uh, school of that. I wonder what happened to Edward. Anyways, this shall be known some other time. This is right sign out and I'll save all data up to this point. <laughs> See everyone's right blah blah blah.